Tales about mystery, fear and enigma encompassing seafaring ghost ships have been passed around through centuries by sailors, anglers and others. These mysterious ships are fantasied as spectral phantasms that materialize in the middle of the sea and disappear quickly, which is apparently a bad omen. In addition, abandoned ships, which are found at drift, left desolated under fearsome and cryptic circumstances, are also included in this category. In this video, we will be looking at one such example of the latter category. About an abandoned ship named, S.S. Orang, made on. Get ready for a spine-chilling mystery video. And without further ado, let's begin the video. Before a couple of centuries when rail and air transportation, waterways were the most important means of transports to set voyage across the world. When several such ships have sailed the great and mighty oceans, there are few which don't reach their destinations. One such ship was, S.S. Orang, made on. We don't know the actual date when our story begins as there are several conflicting dates. But it was during the Second World War era. To be more accurate, from 1939 to 1949, though we don't know the date, we certainly know where the ship was heading to and its route. How did they find it out? Well, a ship named Silver Star with US soldiers was returning to USA from Japan. Suddenly, the ship received a signal in form of Morse codes. On decoding it, the captain of Silver Star understood that the message was sent by the captain of another ship named SS Rang Maidan and the code stated that all passengers in the ship had died. When the captain of Silver Star went to the control room to say the helmsman or the navigator of the ship to take a U-turn and help SS Rang Maidan ship. But before the driver could turn around their ship the opposite side, they received another signal saying you need not come. Because everyone including me have died. The captain thought that someone had been pranking them as a dead person cannot send signals. But to confirm that, they still took the U-turn and went to SS Rang Maidan ship. Never did they expect, they would witness several unbelievable scenes they could see there. I will say about what they saw a little later in the video. Before that, I would like to add that the word Orang in Malay or Indonesian translates to man or person, whereas Maidan is the largest city on the Indonesian island of Sumatra giving an approximate translation of man from made on. Back to the main story, when the members of Silver Star ship got signals, they communicated with other nearby ships and asked them if they received any signal or is it only their ship that received to confirm that no one is pranking them. But it wasn't only heard from their ship. Many neighboring ships heard this sound. So, they went to the nearest island which turned out to be a part of modern-day Malaysia and informed about the signals and the ship and asked nearby harbors if any such ship named SS Rang Maidan had come there. The reason being, they could easily track the ship from where signals came using the time interval and the speed of the ship. A point to be noted is that, all harbors then maintained a log record of ships that entered and exited the harbor with details like time of arrival, crew information etc. But there was no sign of the ship named SS Rang Maidan in the logbook. No such ship named SS Rang Maidan had come to any harbor they had investigated. Still, they somehow figured out where the signals came from after a long struggle and found that it came from an old ship in the middle of the ocean. They signaled the ship that their crew members have come to save them. But there was no reply for a long time. So. Soldiers went to see what happened inside the ship to see what happened there and who sent the signals. But a shock was awaiting them. They could see nothing but dead bodies. What was more astonishing is that, all the dead bodies were leaning on the walls in a frozen and strange posture which looked like a scared reaction. Also there was a dog in the ship which too was dead, but its body was frozen in an afraid posture. Moreover there was not a single drop of blood or wound on the dead bodies. Next when they went to check the control room, they found that the place near the engine was relatively colder than the outside temperature by almost 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. Generally, the engine room must have been hotter than the surroundings due to consumption and combustion of fuel. 
But here it was a different case. Though the members of Silver Star had roamed the entire ship, they found only dead bodies. But they could not stay long because there was a foul loader coming from the ship and thus they went back to their ship and informed this information to the captain of Silver Star ship who then relayed the message to the harbor. Slowly this news reached the ears of the public and the public were crazy to see the ship. So, the members of Silver Star ship tied both ships together with ropes and departed to the harbor. But disaster struck. Smoke was coming from SS Rang Maidan and it soon developed into a huge fire. So, the members of Silver Star quickly cut off the ropes and few ropes cut off by themselves by catching fire. After untying all ropes, the Silver Star ship they traveled to escape the fire. When they had traveled a few hundred meters, they could hear a huge explosion from behind which was none other than from the SS Rang Maidan ship. When the passengers of Silver Star informed the news of the blast of SS Rang Maidan to the harbor, the members in the harbor was not ready to believe it. So, they investigated all passengers of the ship separately. And since all of them said the same thing, they made sure that the passengers were not lying. Also the people confessed themselves in media saying what had happened. This news turned into a hot and unsolved one. And it is still unsolved. Nobody could find a reason why the people were like statues and why the engine room was cooler than the surroundings. Another mysterious part is where did the ship go? Because there were no traces of the ship anywhere. I have a few reasons for this. I guess since it was the World War era, this blast happened to kill opponents intentionally. So, they could have used a gas which was responsible for the cool temperature, the deaths of people due to by inhalation and probably also for the fire thing. But still that does not explain the Morse code thing, the signals, why all people and dogs died in an afraid pose, and why didn't any harbor have records of the entry or exit of the ship. Guys, let me know in the comments what do you think has happened. With this question, I would like to end the video. I will see you in another video. Till then goodbye.